look who's out there, my loves. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hello, loves. Hello. Good morning. Sending you big kisses and hugs. Like every day, my loves. Happy almost Valentine's Day. Did you enjoy our story from yesterday and our craft? Was it super fun? Well, today, my loves, we're going to do another, we're going to read together another amazing story. Now, this is a story that holds a special place in Miss Mel's heart and Christina Bunny's heart, I'm sure. Because this is a storybook that my was my mommy's favorite that she shared with me when I was a little one with big heart, just like you. And it's something we've shared over the years, and it's still one of our favorite stories that we share have shared together. And we're gonna read it today. And this storybook is called Guess How Much I Love You. And as we said yesterday, my loves, we're celebrating Valentine's Day this week. Because it's Sunday, but you know what? In this book, it's a wonderful, extra wonderful, special thing because you get to share the love each and every day with everyone that you love in some way. And you know what? We have opportunities like that every day, my loves. So this reminds me, in my storybook, guess how much I love you. This, my mom always used to say, this was her right here, and this was me. Christina, does this remind you of you and your mommy? Oh, <laughs> so should we dive into our book today and see how much love is in our book today? I think so. <laughs> so let's do it together. Guess How Much I Love You, written by Sam McBratney and illustrated, meaning the pictures are done, by Anita Jaram. This is such a beautiful book. <clears throat> let's see how much love is in this book. <laughs> Little Nut Brown Hair, who was going to bed, held on very tight to Big Nut Brown Hair's very long ears. I'm holding tight. Oh, here he is. Oh. He wanted to be sure that Big Nut Brown Hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could ever guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as he could. Can we stretch our arms as wide as we could like little nut brown hair? Oh, how much do you love the people you love in your lives, my loves? Oh my goodness, we love them so, so much. Oh, look at that, she's better about big and wide. Oh, now, big nut brown hair had even longer arms, but I love you this much. He said, oh, and he spread out his arms as wide as he could. Can we do that again, my loves? Let's spread our arms out as wide as we can. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Give a good stretch. Stretch those arms as wide as you can. Fill it with as much love as you can. Good job. Mmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. Mmm. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. Can we reach high, high to the sky? Here we go. High, high to the sky. Here we go. Oh, oh, so high. Oh, raise the roof. <laughs> raise the roof. <laughs> Here we go. High, high, high. Good job. I can reach as high to the sky, said Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. So Big Nut Brown Hair spread his arms. Reach his arms high, high. Can you do it again with me, my loves? Here we go. High, high to the sky. Here we go. Oh, as high as you can reach. As much love as you have in your heart. This is very high, said little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms that high to the sky. Hmm. <clears throat> then little nut brown hair had a really good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up to the tree with his feeties. What? Oh my goodness, Christina, can you show how you do your feeties? <laughs> oh, she reached up to the sky with her feeties. I love you all the way up to my toesies. Oh, Beth, you guys rock too. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you all the way up to my toesies, he said. And I love you all the way up to my toes, 
said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him all the way up over our heads. How many of our parents and loved ones have swung us up over our head, over their heads? Oh my goodness! <laughs> when we were little, of course. <laughs> Left little nut brown hair. Can we give her? Can we do a hop for each other? Let's hop real high. And the smell's gonna bounce. <laughs> high, high to the sky, bouncing up and down as fast as he could. <gasps> That's how many. He was a little out of breath. Oh my goodness! Christina's bouncing high, high to the sky. Oh, <laughs> tuckered herself out, did she? <laughs> but I love you as high as I can hop. Smiled big nut brown hair and a hop so high that his ears touched the branches all the way above in the trees. What? That's good hopping, thought little nut brown hair. I, I wish I could hop like that, but I'm so little. You may be little, my loves, but you've got big heart always. very far, thought little nut brown hair. He was almost too sleepy Ooh, to think anymore about how much he loved nut brown. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky, he thought. Oh. <coughs> Right up to the moon, he said. And he closed his eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Hmm. Oh, it's so cute. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into a small little bed of leaves to cuddle for the night. Oh. He leaned over and kissed him good night. Good night, little nut brown hair. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh, my loves. We love all of you, my loves, to the moon and back again to infinity. We love you all. We love our all our families and all our library families and kiddos each and every day in every way. We love you all, my loves. Guess how much I love you. We were so happy to share this book with you today, my loves, and such a special treat. <clears throat> Now, we're going to do our craft today as well, my loves. Did everybody see our craft from yesterday? I hope you did. We did our fingerprint tree craft from yesterday, which was so super awesome. And I love that everybody was getting excited about the idea of doing this together. Now, yesterday, you can find it in our video from yesterday with the links to show you how. And Ms. Mel gave some instructions at the end of our story time yesterday to show you how. And we put an extra special link in there. And the template for our tree was shared after story time yesterday. So today, we are going to use some yarn. Now, my loves, you can use yarn for this project. You can use string for this project. You can use, if your parents have some gift wrapping ribbon, you can use some ribbon, some thin ribbon for this project as well. So you can use string, thin ribbon, yarn for this project. Today, <coughs> we are going to use our fine motor skills. And what Ms. Mel means by that is we're gonna use the fine muscles in our hands. Oh, thank you, Anne, and everyone as always. We love you all so much. Mwah. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> we are gonna use our fine motor skills today. And what we mean by that is we're gonna use the muscles in our hands and we're gonna use our and we're gonna use our muscles in our hands and our eye and hand coordination. We're gonna improve that a little bit with this activity today. So what Ms. Mel wants you to do is we are gonna take a paper plate 
and we are going to draw. Now, our parents are going to help us with this activity, my loves. So we're going to do it together because you know what? We do an activity together. It helps us learn how to do it, right, Christina? And it also helps us do it together and share time with each other, which is amazing because we can say we did it together. So we're going to try to do this together. So we take a pencil with our parents and we draw a heart. We're going to draw a heart in our paper plate. Can everyone see that? And when you draw the heart in your paper plate, we're going to use scissors today, my love. So we're going to have to have our parents' supervision and using our scissors as we always do. And we're going to cut, after we draw the heart out on our paper plate, we're going to cut the heart out and it's going to look just like this. Well, it's going to ha not have holes in it just yet, but it's going to look just like a heart. <laughs> so after we draw our heart and we cut it out from our paper plate, now Miss Mel also has a link up in our, our video today that you can click on that's going to show you how to do this and give you a video to do this as well. Now remember, you can use yarn, ribbon, thin ribbon, and you can also use string for this project as well. We're going to use our fine, help improve our fine motor skills today, our hand and eye coordination. So after we cut out our heart from our paper plate, we're going to use a hole puncher. All right, now if we don't have a hole puncher at home, we can now this is something we will definitely have to uh, extra extra use our parents supervision for we can take a sharpened pencil and you know have a paper behind and make holes with the sharpened pencil but that's going to be sharp my love so you have to use your have to help get help from your parents my loves to do this together so we are going to take a hole puncher or sharpened pencil and we're going to hole punch all around the outline the outer edges of our heart can you see how we did that together? See, Miss Mel's gonna hold it up and Christina Bunny's gonna hold it for you. <clears throat> Can everyone see that? Good job. Now we are gonna have extra fun, like Miss Mel said, by making a few strips. We're gonna make as many strips as we'd like. You can make as many strips as you like. Now, Miss Mel made this about the size of her arm. You can make it about the size of your arm, the length of your arm or a little bit longer, not too long, because you don't want to be pulling string too far. So we're going to take our string, and we're going to go to the front of our heart, and we're going to take our string and go right into one of the holes first, right? We're going to go into the holes, and with our parents, we're going to tie the string, tight, 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 like bunny loops into the burrow. <laughs> and we're going to tie the string to one of our holes. Now, that fine motor, those fine motor skills and the eye and hand coordination that we're going to improve a little bit each and every time we do this, my loves, is we're, right after we tie it, we're going to take our string in the front and loop it into any hole we see. What? What? We're going to pull it through. <gasps> this is going to be our own little ab piece of abstract art. Now we're going to take that string and we're going to bring it back around. And we're going to go through another hole. What? <gasps> what? How cool is that? Now we're going to take that string and we're going to bring it back to the front. And we're going to loop it in whatever other hole we like. What? And it brings it down. What? We're, this is a great looping activity, my loves. We're going to bring it around to the front and then we're going to loop it again in any hole we find. What? And then we're going to loop it there. So at the end, now you can take as many, as many, many, many strings. Now when you finish with the end of your string, you're going to tie it off and you're going to begin a new string, just like we did when we first showed how to do this with our first string. Right? We're going to tie it and then start all over again. And then tie that one and start another string all over again. Until you have a heart that looks so extra amazing. How cool is that? You can do as many strings as you want, my loves, and tie it off each time you finish a string, and then start a new string, and then tie that off, and then start a new string, like we said. So it turns into an amazing loop-de-loop -loop heart. 
what? Now this is an amazing heart that you can send to any one of your loved ones. You can put it in your friends' mailboxes, your neighbors' mailboxes. You can send it off in a package to Grammy, Auntie, Uncle. You could show them at a Zoom that you have with them that you're going to send them soon. How cool is that? So we had so much fun making one. And we actually made two. <laughs> we had so much fun making it. And you know what? Miss Nell wants to also bring, as a reminder, from yesterday's group, this is a heart we did in Artists in Art Week. It was so cool, and we talked about it yesterday, too, and I wanted to give you another craft. Again, as a reminder, we did this with poster board, or you can do it with thicker paper, or if you have regular paper, you can cut out a heart, and you could put it against a cereal box that you cut out in the shape of a heart. You can put it against a cracker box you can put it in shape, and you can make it whatever size you want, my loves. We took a toilet paper roll, dipped it in paint, and made all these cool circles all on the inside of the heart. And then we colored, use watercolors, and or you could paint, or you could use colored pencils or crayons or markers in all the little bits of shapes in the heart and made it like a mosaic, which was really cool, which all bits and pieces all put together, making a huge, amazing piece of art. So how cool is that? What? So my loves, I hope you enjoyed our Valentine's special. And remember, Valentine's is each and every day, my loves. We shared some ways you can share your love yesterday in Valentine's story time. And there are many ways we get to share the love. And we just want to say again how much we love all of you, each and every one of you. <laughs> we sending out our love and hugs. You all are amazing. You are welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in every day. We get to see one another. Now, this week, Miss Mel has two special announcements. This week, let's see, Thursday, I do believe, we have our book and cook. So Miss Mel's gonna and Christina Bunny are gonna have a special book and cook that it's our Valentine's special which we're going to show you how to make two easy simple recipes that you can make for your home valentine's party together in your house all right my loves that's going to be so much fun and we recommend cookbooks afterwards and we recommend our uh, recipes that we made in book and cook so that's going to be super fun on thursday and then also next week we have such a awesome and amazing selections of storybooks in celebration of Black History Month. So my loves, tune in. It is amazing. We started off our, our wonderful celebration of Black History Month with uh, our Once Upon a True Story Time, right, Christina? With um, Kamala Harris, who is our new vice president. And we had such a special story time then. And we are going to celebrate with these extra special amazing books for in celebration of Black History Month next week, my loves. And have a lot of great activities to share and a lot of great information to share as well. Thank you so much, my loves. We love all of you so much. Have an extra special Valentine's. Bye.